Stephen Ray Perry, born January 22, 1949, is an American singer and songwriter. He was the lead singer of the rock band Journey during their most commercially successful periods from 1977 to 1987, and again from 1995 to 1998. He also wrote, co-wrote several of Journey's hit songs. Perry had a successful solo career between the mid-1980s and mid-1990s, made sporadic appearances in the 2000s, and returned to music full-time in 2018. Perry's singing voice has garnered acclaim from prominent musical peers and publications. He has been dubbed The Voice, a moniker originally coined by John Bon Jovi. Ranked number 76 on Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Singers of All Time, Perry was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Journey on April 7, 2017. Stephen Ray Perry was born in Hanford, California, to Portuguese parents from the Azores. He is an only child. Perry grew up interested in music, as his father, Raymond Perry, Pereira, was a vocalist and co-owner of radio station KNGS. Perry's parents ended their relationship when he was eight. He and his mother then moved to his grandparents' dairy farm. On Perry's 12th birthday, his mother, Mary Quaresma, presented him with a gold eighth note pendant. Perry wears the pendant for good luck. At age 12, Perry heard Sam Cooke's song, Cupid, on his mother's car radio, and it inspired him to become a singer. In his early 20s, Perry moved to Sacramento to start a band with 16-year-old future music producer Scott Matthews, who co-wrote, played drums and guitar and sang. That band, Ice, wrote original material and were poised for success in the music business. In 1972, they recorded at the Record Plant Studios in Los Angeles by day while Stevie Wonder recorded his Talking Book album by night. Upon returning to Sacramento, Ice disbanded as the band had no management, Matthews was still in high school, and the recordings went virtually unheard. In 1975, Perry moved to Thousand Oaks, California, where he formed a progressive rock band called Pieces with Tim Boggart, who had previously worked with Jeff Beck, Denver Cross, and Eddie Tadori. After a year and a half, the group was unable to secure a record deal and disbanded. Perry also unsuccessfully auditioned to replace Rod Evans in Captain Beyond. Perry then ended up in Banta, California, outside of Tracy, California, where he fronted the band Alien Project in his mid-twenties. He nearly gave up music when the bassist of that band, Richard Michaels, was killed in an automobile accident. 11. Perry returned to Lemoore and decided not to continue his singing career, but at the urging of his mother, he answered a call from Walter, Herbie, Herbert, manager of struggling San Francisco-based band Journey. Original Journey organizer, manager Herbert had been given a demo of an Alien Project song, If You Need Me, Call Me, and was told by producer Scott Matthews that the young singer would be a great replacement for then-current frontman Robert Fleischmann. Fleischmann had never signed with Herbert's company, preferring his previous manager, and had not fully coalesced with the band's then-progressive rock style. Perry was brought on tour and to avoid alarming Fleischmann was referred to as a roadie's Portuguese cousin. During a sound check in Long Beach, Perry surreptitiously performed a song with Journey while Fleischmann was away from the stage. Soon thereafter, Herbert informed the band members that Perry was the new lead singer. Perry brought a radically new, more pop-influenced style sense to the band's music. Despite some grumblings from the band's existing members and fans of Journey's progressive rock sound, he made his public debut on October 28, 1977, in San Francisco to a mixed reception. Perry eventually won over new fans on his first album with the group, Infinity, which included a song he wrote called, Lights. The band's style had changed dramatically, but as Journey began to garner airplay and media buzz over Infinity, Perry's arrival was fully accepted. 21st Century, Perry appeared on two tracks by Kawaii, Hawaii, artist Tommy Takioka's album Happy To Be Living, singing backup vocals on songs, I Wish You Were Mine, and An Angel Above Me, in 2000. He collaborated with musician Jeff Golub on a song entitled, Can't Let You Go, for Golub's Soul Sessions album, which was released in 2003. Perry provided vocals on the mostly instrumental jazz track, 
Perry appeared with other Journey members at a ceremony on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on January 21, 2005, after previously stating it was unlikely that he would ever stand with the band again. He indicated that, though it was a good experience, it was unlikely that he would rejoin the band. However, he has also said, and, ever say never, unless you mean never, nevertheless, when the issue of returning to Journey has been mentioned. Perry co-produced, a brand new start, a track on a solo album for former Ambrosia lead vocalist David Pat, in 2005. Perry also provided co-vocals and background vocals for the track, among the many songs he and Pat co-wrote shortly after the September 11, 2001 attacks. That album, The Secret of Moving On, released in September 2005, includes covers of two of Pac's biggest hits with Ambrosia, Biggest Part of Me, and You're the Only Woman. Vocal style and acclaim, Perry is renowned for his counter-tenor vocal range, which spans from F to a Perry's voice has been described as a high tenor altino, with a tone somewhere between Sam Cooke and Aretha Franklin. He has been dubbed The Voice, a moniker originally coined by fellow singer John Bon Jovi. Queen guitarist Brian May said, Perry is a truly luminous singer, in my opinion, a voice in a million. Record executive, producer, and former American Idol judge and Journey session musician Randy Jackson has described Perry's voice as, the golden voice, adding that aside from Robert Plant, there's no singer in rock that even came close to Steve Perry. The power, the range, the tone, he created his own style. He mixed a little Motown, a little Everly Brothers, a little Zeppelin. Journey guitarist Neil Sean likened Perry's ability to that of Aretha Franklin and agreed with Fozzie vocalist Chris Jericho's assertion that Perry might be the greatest male singer of all time. Greg Prato of All Music wrote, If only one singer could be selected as the most identifiable with 80s arena rock, it would have to be Journey's Steve Perry. Prato's colleague John Franck praised Perry's as a soaring whale of a voice. He was voted among the 10 greatest rock singers of all time in a 2009 classic rock reader poll. Rolling Stone ranked Perry number 76 in the 100 greatest singers of all time, lauding his technical skills, as well as his pure tone and passionate sincerity. Jeff Nichols of Rhythm referred to Perry as arguably the best singer of his generation. Sam Cooke, to whom Perry has been compared, was Perry's primary influence. He has also cited the vocal approach of the Beach Boys, Jackie Wilson, Frankie Valli, Lou Christie, Marvin Gaye, Joe Tex, and Jack Bruce of Cream, along with female singers such as Diana Ross, Dee Dee Sharp and Aretha Franklin. Musically, Perry drew influence from Elvis Presley and Chuck Berry. He also spoke of his fondness for Motown recordings and English bands of the late 1960s. Personal Life In the 1980s Perry dated Sherry Swafford, for whom he wrote the 1984 song, Oh Sherry. In 2011, Perry began a relationship with psychologist and breast cancer survivor Kelly Nash. He was by Nash's side as she battled a cancer recurrence, and she died in December 2012. In a September 2018 interview, Perry said, Things happened to me as a child that I still can't talk about, nothing to do with my parents, but things did happen. It happened to a lot of kids, as I find out. There was nowhere to talk it out, so I got to sing it out instead. In a 2019 interview with Dan Rather, Perry discussed that he has a daughter and grandchildren, but declined to go into further details saying, I do have a child, but in the essence of protecting her, I kinda don't want to get into that. Dot and I have grandchildren too. Health and interests. Perry underwent successful hip replacement surgery in 1998. In May 2013, Perry had a mole removed that turned out to be melanoma. He had two surgeries to remove the cancer cells and was told the surgeries were successful, requiring no further treatment. During the 2005 baseball season, the Chicago White Sox adopted Journey's Don't Stop Believin' as their unofficial team anthem. As a result, Perry, a San Francisco Giants fan, was asked to attend the World Series and traveled with the White Sox to Houston, where Perry joined the players on the field and in the locker room as they celebrated their championship.